chapter 10. And I saw another mighty angel coming down from heaven, encompassed, encompassed with a cloud, encompassed. 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 Encompassed, like covered, encircled. Encompassed with a cloud and a rainbow was over his head and his face was as the sun and his feet as pillars of fire. <clears throat> and he had in his hand a little book open and he set his right foot upon the sea and his left upon the, the earth and he cried with a great voice as a lion roar, roareth and when he cried seven thunders uttered their voices and when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write, and I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Seal up those things which the Hello. seven... Sorry to catch you off, but I don't know what are you talking about. I'm reading, I'm reading the book you can see on the stream. And I'm, I'm learning English from this book. Uh, and if you want to read too, you can read the next verse in a turn. Okay. But you read the book? Yeah, I'm reading. Do you see on the stream this book, uh, Apocalypse Revealed by Manuel Swedenborg? This is this book. Okay, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, watch, I watch your stream. Yeah, I, I'm reading and learning English from this book. <coughs> Uh, I read here, utter and write them not. And the angel whom I saw standing upon the sea and upon the earth lifted up his hand to heaven and swear by him that liveth for ages of ages who cried heaven and the things that therein are and the earth and the things that therein are and the sea and the things that are therein the time shall be no longer but in the days of the voice of the seventh angel when he is about to sound the mystery of god shall be finished as he hath declared to his servants the prophets and the voice which i heard from heaven spake unto me again saying take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel who is standing upon the earth. And they went unto the angel, saying unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up, and it shall make thy belly bitter, but in thy mouth it shall be sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand, and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey, and when I had eaten it up, my belly was made bitter. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. <clears throat> the spiritual sense, the contents of the whole chapter, the exploration and manifestation of those who are in the churches of the Reformed is still treated of. Here what they believe concerning the Lord as being the God of heaven and earth, as he himself taught. And that his human is divine, and that this is not received there, and that it can be received from difficulty so long as the dogma of justification by faith alone is seated in their hearts. 
the contents of each verse. Verse 1. And I saw another mighty angel coming down from heaven. Signifies the Lord in divine majesty and power. Encompassed with the cloud and the rainbow was over his head. Signifies his divine natural and divine spiritual. And his head was as the sun. Signifies the divine love. And at the same time the divine wisdom. And his feet as pillars of fire. <clears throat> signifies the Lord's divine natural as to the divine love which sustains 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 like support sustains mm -hmm. Pre preserve which sustains all things. Verse 2. And he had in his hand a little book open, signifying to this doctrinal point therein, that the Lord is the God of heaven and earth, and that his human is divine. <coughs> his human is divine, and he said, his right foot, Upon the sea and his left upon the earth signifies that the Lord has the whole church under his auspices and dominion. Auspices. 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 Mm. Auspices. <coughs> Auspices like assistance. And patronage. 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 Auspices. 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 And the Lord has the whole church under his auspices and dominion. Dominion. Like power. Dominion. Possession, dominion, power. Mm -hmm. Auspices and dominion. Verse 3. And cried with a great voice as a lion roareth. Signifies grievous, grievous lamentation that the church is taken from him. And when he cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. Signifies that the Lord will disclose throughout the whole heaven that it the, what is in the little book. Verse 4 And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write, and I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not. Signifies that these things indeed are made manifest, but that they are not received till after they who are meant by the dragon, the beast and the false prophet are cast out of the world of spirits because there would be danger uh, were they to be received before. Verse 5 And the angel whom I saw standing upon the sea and upon the earth lifted up his hand to heaven and swore by him that liveth for ages of ages signifies the attestation and testification of the Lord by Himself. Attestation. <clears throat> attestation. Mm -hmm. Attestation, like confirmation, testimony, certification, attestation, attestation, and testification. Testification, like Testimony from, from testimony. Yeah. Testification. Testification and we can say testifying and testification. Yeah, testifying. Now the Lord by himself who created heaven and the things that therein are and the earth and the things that therein are and the things that are therein 
signifies who vivifies all that are in heaven and that are in the church. Vivifies. Vivifies. Like anim animate. 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 Like alive. To make them alive. Vivifies. That are therein. 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 Like here. Out there. Therein. In it. Therein. That are in the church and teach and everything with them. The time shall be no longer signifies that there cannot be any state of the church or any church except one God be acknowledged and that the Lord is that God. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he is about to sound, signifies the final exploration and manifestation of the state of the church, which must perish unless a new one be established by the Lord. And the mystery of God shall be finished, as he hath declared to his servants the prophets, signifies that, that then it will appear that it is or told in the word, word of both testaments, but has hitherto, 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 like previously. So far, until then, hitherto, being concealed, that after the last judgment is executed upon those who have devastated the church, the Lord's kingdom will come. And the voice which I, verse 8, and the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again, saying, Take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel, who is standing upon the sea and upon the earth signifies a command from heaven that they should admit the doctrine, but that it should be made manifest by John how it would be received in the church before those are removed or meant by the dragon, the beast, and the false prophet. Verse 9, And they went unto the angel, saying unto him, Give me the little book, signifies a motion of the mind with many to receive the doctrine. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up, and it shall make thy belly bitter, but in thy mouth it shall be sweet as honey, signifies that reception of the acknowledgement of the Lord is the Savior and Redeemer, he is grateful and pleasing. But that the acknowledgement that he alone is the God of heaven and earth, and that his human is divine, is disagreeable dis dis and difficult by reason of falsification. Disagreeable. 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 Mm -hmm. Disagreeable. Like agreeable and disagreeable. Like un unpleasant. Unpleasant. Disagreeable and difficult by reason of falsification. Mm -hmm. In verse 10, when they took the little book out of the angel's hand and tied it up, and it was in my mouth, sweet as honey, and when I had eaten it up, my belly was made bitter, signifies that so it came to pass, and was this manifested. Verse 11, and he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings, signifies that because it is so, the quality of those who are in faith alone must be further shown. The explanation. In this and the following chapter, the Lord is treated of that he is the God of heaven and earth, 
and that us to his human also he is god consequently that he is jehovah himself consequently consequently like because therefore that he is jehovah himself that it that this is the subject treated of in these two chapters may be seen from the particulars in the spiritual sense and from the conclusion verse one and they saw another <clears throat> and, they th and they saw another mighty angel coming down from heaven signifies the lord in divine majesty and power that this angel is the lord is evident from the description of him as being encompassed with the cloud the rainbow over his head his face as the sun his feet like columns of fire and that he set his feet upon the sea and upon the earth as also that he cried with a great voice as a lion roareth and spoke as thunder he was seen as an angel because he appears as an angel in the heavens and below the heavens when he manifests himself for he fills some angel with his divine in accommodation to the reception of those to whom he grants to see him his presence itself such as he is in himself or in his own essence cannot be supported by any angel much less by any man wherefore he appears above the heavens as a sun at a distance from the angels as the son of this world is from men there he dwells in his divine from eternity and at the same time in his divine human which are uh, one like soul and body he is here called a mighty angel from his divine power and it is said another angel by reason of another divine attribute of his different from the former being here described and encompassed encompassed with the cloud and the rainbow was over his head signifies his divine natural and divine spiritual by the cloud with which he was encompassed is signified the divine natural wherefore the word in its natural sense which also is from him thus is his and himself is signified by cloud by the rain rainbow is signified the divine spiritual and as this is above the natural therefore the rainbow appeared over the head it is to be known that the lord is present with men in his divine natural but with the angels of his spiritual kingdom in his divine spiritual and with the angels of his celestial kingdom in his divine celestial till he is not divided but appears to everyone according to his quality the lord's divine spiritual is also signified by the rainbow in ezekiel <coughs> And above the expanse of the cherubim was the likeness of a throne, and upon it and upon it the appearance of a man, and from the fire of his loins there was an eat where the appearance of the rainbow which is in the cloud in the day of rain, this was the appearance of the glory of Jehovah. By the throne is signified heaven by the man upon it the lord by the fire of the loins celestial love and by the rainbow divine truth spiritual which also of which also is of his divine wisdom it is written in moses i have set my bow in the cloud and it shall be for a sign of the covenant between me and the earth and when I shall see it in the cloud, I will remember the eternal covenant. By the rainbow here nothing else is meant by the divine truth. 
spiritual and the natural with the man who is regenerated. For man, when he is regenerated for, from natural becomes spiritual. And in as much as there is then a conjunction of the Lord with him, therefore it is said that the bow in the cloud should be for a sign of the covenant. <clears throat> yeah, it's actually there is everything is about covenant. Because covenant like our agreement, like I think it's a marriage um, marriage contract, like a covenant of marriage. Because uh, God wants to have that conjunction between him and between uh, the soul of man, the soul of the man. And uh, the, 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 bow, the bow in the cloud should be for a sign of the covenant, yeah, like sign. Covenant signifies conjunction, that there is no conjunction of the Lord with men by rainbows in the world is evident. And his face as was and his face was as the sun signifies the divine love and at the same time the divine wisdom, as is evident from the explanation above, where the same is said of the Son of Man. And his feet as pillars of fire signifies the Lord's divine natural as to the divine love, which sustains all things. This also appears from the explanation above, where it is said of the Son of Man that his feet will like fine brass, as if glowing in a furnace. The reason why his feet seemed like pillars of fire is because the Lord's divine natural, which in itself is the divine human, which he assumed, what is this, assumed, assume, assumed, 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 like <clears throat> permissible, put, take, accept, Consider. He assumed in the world like put, maybe in this sense, which in itself is the divine human which he assumed in the world, sustains his divine from eternity as the body does the soul, and in like manner as the natural sense of the word sustains its spiritual and celestial sense on which subject see the doctrine of the New Jerusalem concerning the sacred scripture, that the feet signify the natural may be seen, and that the pillar signifies support, fire signifies love, because spiritual fire is nothing else. Therefore it is customary in worship to pray that heavenly fire may kindle the heart, that is celestial love, that there is a correspondence between fire and love, may be known from this, that man grows warm from love, and grows cold from the privation thereof. <clears throat> privation. Privation. Mm -hmm. Privation, like deprivation, hardship, privation thereof, there be nothing else that produces vital heat, but love in both senses. The origin of correspondences is from two suns, one in the heavens which is pure love, and the other in the world which is pure fire. And so also is derived the correspondence between all spiritual and natural things. Since fire signifies the divine love, therefore, Jehovah was seen by Moses upon Mount Horeb in a bush of fire. Mm -hmm. Upon Mount Horeb in a bush of fire. 
and he came down to Mount Sinai in fire. And therefore the seven lamps of the lampstand in the tabernacle were kindled every evening, that they might burn before Jehovah. Also that, <coughs> also that the fire burned perpetually upon the altar, and was not extinguished. And that they took fire from the altar in the censers and offered incense. That Jehovah went before the sons of Israel by night in a pillar of fire. That there was fire by might, by night, or upon the habitation. <clears throat> that fire from heaven consumed the burnt offerings upon the altar as a sign of good pleasure that the burnt offerings were called of rings by fire, ah, that the burnt offerings were called offerings by fire to Jehovah, and the offerings by fire for an order to rest to Jehovah, that the eyes of the Lord were seen as a flame of fire. Revelation 1, uh -huh, 14. That the seven lamps of the fire that the seven lamps of fire burned before the throne. Hence, it is manifest what is signified by. Hence, like here, I think. Hence. Mm. It's like, therefore. Mm. The lamps with oil and without oil. By the oil is meant fire and thus love. Besides many other places that fire in the opposite sense signifies infernal love, is manifest from so many places in the word, word that it is needles, need, needless <coughs> to use. Needless, like without needs. Mm -hmm. Needless. Needless, like useless. Needless. Needless. That it is, ah, yeah, it's like, it doesn't need, needless, to adduce them on account of their abundance. He is something on this subject, adduce. <coughs> and use like, submit, lead, on this subject. In the work on Heaven and Hell, published at London. Mm -hmm. Verse 2, and he had in his hand a little book open, signifies the word as to his point of doctrine therein that the Lord is the God of heaven and earth and that his human is divine, that by the book which the Lamb took from him that sat on the throne and of which he loosed the seven seals is meant the word may be seen above. And follow it. Therefore, by the little book in the hand of the angel, who also is the Lord, nothing else is he meant by the word as to some essential therein. That this is the doctrinal point in the word, that the Lord is the God of heaven and earth, and that his human is divine, is evident from the spiritual sense of all the particulars. In this and the following chapter, and also from the natural sense of the next chapter. The little book is said. <coughs> the little book is said to be open because the doctrine appears manifestly in the word, and is evident to everyone who reads it, if he attends. 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 Like visit, present, serve. If he attends, this is the subject now treated of because it is the very essential of the new church. The reason is because on the knowledge and acknowledgement of God depends the salvation of every one, for as was observed in the preface, <clears throat> the whole heaven and the whole church and earth, and in general all religion is founded on a just idea of God because by it there is conjunction. 
and by conjunction light, wisdom and eternal happiness. Once again, the whole heaven and the whole church on earth and in general all religion is founded on a just idea of God. Is founded on just idea of God. On the idea. Mm, it's about justice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because our God is about justice. And his kingdom, it is about justice too. And he who is hungry for justice, they can be blessed. They will be blessed. They will never be hungry again because they will have the real value, the value of love. To love, share, and comfort. They will have the courage to do the good. And because he who doesn't see justice around him, he will be blessed. Because by it there is conjunction. Just idea of God is founded on a just idea of God. Because by it there is conjunction, and by conjunction light, wisdom, and eternal happiness. Mm -hmm. Conjunction with, with justice. Because God is just. <clears throat> and his kingdom is just. God builds his kingdom, and his kingdom is an ideal just society. Because God wants to build his kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. And in the Lord's Prayer, God commanded us to pray about, about coming his kingdom to earth. And about coming his will on earth as it is in heaven. We pray, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. God wants that his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It means his kingdom comes here on earth. And it is our responsibility to build his kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven that God wants make us God wants us to make his builders of his kingdom. And this is a harvest of God. Because by it there is conjunction, and by conjunction light, wisdom, and eternal happiness. Yeah, God wants us to be happy, and we can be happy only in his kingdom. Because a lot of Christian thinks that God wants to populate heaven with, with people, and angels are from human race, and that's right. But the heavenly kingdom, the kingdom in heaven is perfect kingdom. But that because we cannot we cannot build God's kingdom there in heaven because we live here on earth. That because we can build God's kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. And it's, it's our responsibility. Because heaven is here. And the kingdom of heaven is here. Because God is here. And where Jesus is there, his kingdom is also. 
And then because heaven comes to earth, and we are his kingdom of heaven and earth, and that's our responsibility to do God's will here on earth as it is in heaven, and to build his kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. And only in in this uh, doing we can be happy because it's about wisdom and eternal happiness. Since the Lord is the very God of heaven and earth, therefore no one who does not acknowledge him is admitted is, ab is admitted into heaven. For heaven is his body, but he stands below and his and is beaten by serpents. That is by infernal spirits for whose bite there is no cure but that which the sons of Israel experienced by looking up to the brazen serpent, by which is meant the Lord as to the divine human, as is plain from this passage in John. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. And he set his right foot upon the sea and his left upon the earth, signifies that the Lord has the whole church, as well those therein who are in its externals, as those who are in its internals, under his auspices and dominion. Auspices. Auspices. Mm -hmm. Auspices, like patronage. Auspices. Patronage. Patronage. Mm -hmm. Patronage. Auspices and dominion. By the sea and the earth is signified the entire church by mm -hmm. by the sea and the external church, that is, they who are in its externals, and by the earth, the internal church, that is, they who are in his internals. By setting his feet upon them is signified to hold all in sub subjection to himself. Consequently, under, under his divine auspices and dominion, since the Lord's church on earth is beneath the heavens, therefore it is called the footstool of his feet, as in these passages. He hath cast forth out of heaven unto the earth the ornament of Israel. He do, do, doth, do, doth, how to pronounce, doth. Doth. Mm -hmm. Doth, like does. He doth not remember the footstool of his feet. The earth is the footstool of my feet. He will enter into his habitations. We will bow, bow ourselves down at the footstool of his feet. Thou shalt not swear by heaven because it is the throne of God, neither by the earth because it is the footstool of his feet. I will, I will make the place of my feet honorable. Thou hast made him to rule over the, the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet. This is said of the Lord that he put his right foot upon the sea and his left upon the earth. It's because they who are in the externals of the church have not so confused confirmed falsities with themselves as those who are in its internals. <coughs> verse, <coughs> verse 3 And cried with a great voice as the lion roar of signifies grievous lamentations that the church has been taken away from him that by crying as a lion roareth, this signified grievous 
documentation respecting the church and that it has been taken away from him is evident from what is explained in the foregoing chapter where the states of life of those who are in the church were explored and made manifest which were lamentable lamentable also from its being said in this chapter that the angels swore by him that liveth for ages of ages that there should be time no longer by which is signified that there would be no church and in the following chapter that the beast which came out out of the abyss killed his two witnesses and especially from his not being acknowledged and approached although he is the god of heaven and earth lamentation concerning these things is signified by his roaring as a lion for a lion roars when he sees his enemies and is assaulted by them and when he sees his whelps and pray well his whelps and pray taken away so does blood comparatively when he whelps whelps like offspring mm -hmm. His whelps and prey taken away, so does the Lord comparatively. In comparison. Mm -hmm. Comparatively. Relatively. Comparatively, when he sees his church taken away from him by devils. That this is what is signified by roaring as a lion may appear from these passages. As the lion roareth and the young lion away spray when plenty of shepherds go forth against him so jehovah zebov cometh down to fight for mount zion <clears throat> the anger of jehovah was kindled against his people his roaring is like a lion's he roareth like the young lions and he growled Growleth and see the see the the prey. Growleth. Growleth and see see the see the the prey. Like sees. Sees the sees the sees the prey. For behold, darkness anxiety and the light is darkened in the ruins therefore thereof anxiety anxiety mm -hmm. anxiety like fear mm -hmm. jehovah shall roar from one high and shall utter his voice from the habitation of his holiness roaring he shall roar against his habitations jehovah shall roar out of zion and shall utter his voice out of jerusalem i will not destroy Ephraim. they shall go after jehovah as the lion shall he roar because he shall roar the lion roareth who shall not fear the lord jehovah hath spoken who shall not prophesy. God roareth with his voice, he thundereth with the voice of his majesty. That roaring signifies grievous lamentation is evident from this. My bones have become old through my roaring all the day. I am feeble, feeble and broken. I have roared because of the roaring of my heart. Feeble. 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 Like weak. Feeble. Powerless. Helpless. I am feeble and broken. I have roared because of the roaring of my heart. My 
signing is before my bread, and my roarings are poured out like water. And when he cried seven thunders uttered their voices signifies that the Lord throughout the entire heaven disclosed what was in the little book. This signification is evident because it presently follows that he wished to write the, the seven thunders uttered, but was enjoined from heaven to seal it up and to not write it, and afterwards to eat up the little book, and that in his mouth it was sweet as honey, but that it made his belly bitter, but which is signified that such things were in it as could not yet be received. The reason may be seen in the following article, but I will open what was in the little book. In the little book were those things which are contained uh, in the doctrine of the New Jerusalem concerning the Lord from <clears throat> the beginning to end, which are as follows. That the whole sacred scripture is concerning the Lord, and that the Lord is the Word. That by the Lord fulfilled all things of the law is meant that he fulfilled all things of the Word. Mm -hmm. That the Lord came unto the world to subdue, subdue the, subdue the hells and glorify his human. And that the passion of the cross was the last combat. Combat, combat, last com combat. Combat. Combat was the last combat by which he fully conquered the hells and fully glorified his human. That the Lord, by the passion of the cross, didn't take away sins, but that he bore them. And that the imputation of the Lord's merit is nothing else than the remission of sins after repentance. That the Lord, as to his divine human, is called the Son of God, and as to the world, he is called the Son of Man. That the Lord made his human divine from the divine in himself, and thus he became one with the Father. That the Lord is God himself, from whom and concerning whom the word is. That there is one God, and that the Lord is that God. That the Holy Spirit is the divine proceeding from the Lord, and that it is the Lord himself. That the doctrine of the Athanasian faith ag agrees with the truth of only by a trinity of persons is understood a trinity of person, which is in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Trinity of person. Not a trinity of persons, but a trinity of person. which is in the Lord. The reason why it is said that uh, the seven thunders uttered their voices is because what the Lord speaks as it descends through the heavens into the lower parts is heard as thunder, and because he speaks through the whole heaven at once and thus fully, they are called seven thunders, for by seven are signified all all things and the whole. Therefore, also by thunder is signified instruction in the perception of truth. Here also disclosure and manifestation, that a voice from heaven is heard as, thun as thunder, when from the Lord is evident from these passages. Jesus said, Father, glorify thy name, and there came forth a voice out of heaven and said, I have glorified it and I will glorify it. The multitude heard this as thunder. God roareth with his voice, he is thundereth with the voice of majesty. Jehovah's thunder out of heaven as the Most High utters his voice. I heard the voice out of heaven as the voice of great thunder. 
thou calledst unto me, and answered thee in secret thunder. Calledst. <clears throat> Calledst. Mm-hmm. Calledst. Like first called. <laughs> Calledst. Mm-hmm. Okay. Today the decision is over. Thank you.